Deputy Chartal. So what's the timeline for the HSE Governance Bill? Um, I welcome the fact that you've confirmed that uh, there will be two patient ad advocates on it. And um, the other question is in relation to the ongoing the mechanism for the implementation of the 50 recommendations and indeed looking at issues outside of those. Um, what do you envisage in terms of Dr Scally's involvement in this on an ongoing basis until all of those issues are resolved? plan is to have the HSE Governance Bill pass this session so that the HSE, I'd like to see the HSE board take office at the start of 2019 and um, that's why I started to, obviously it's to go through the normal process including the health committee but that's why I put forward a, a chair designate yesterday to begin the ball rolling in relation to that. Regarding the implementation, uh, I, I presume your question is, is, is getting at the point that Dr Scally has a major role to play in relation to this. I think he has the credibility of those impacted. I think he has the credibility of all parties and groupings in this house and I think crucially is the credibility of the public and, and a clinical record um, and, and, and a vast experience that, that is really important. So I'd like him to stay involved. I'd like him to stay involved until we implement the recommendations. He has said to me he'd be happy to stay involved for the next 12 Thank months. You, Minister. And I'd like his reporting mechanism as well as linking with me to also be uh, going before the Health Commission sure. on a regular basis. Question.